run all this directly from solar panels without any charge controllers, batteries or expensive inverters. Save hundreds if not thousands of dollars on a usable 12 volt solar system. This system here that I'll show you today doesn't require batteries, expensive inverters and charge controllers. This is using simple components that you, you can source easily. Very inexpensive, very usable off-grid 12 volt solar system. With this system I'm using two 250 watt second hand solar panels. I picked up these solar panels in bulk with a friend a few years back and they worked out to be $10 each. Very very inexpensive being second hand obviously house panels as well so they are made at a bit more of a higher quality a higher standard than some of the cheaper panels you can get on ebay and stuff like that ten dollars for each for these panels so twenty dollars for the panels a bit of bracketing wiring and the components you're looking at around 50 60 aussie dollars to set up something like this it is completely usable completely off-grid today I'll show you how. I have those two 250 watt panels wired in parallel and then that runs to XT60s. I use XT60 connections for all my other components and as you can see here it's 32.85 volts almost 33 volts so that is higher than the 12 volts we're going to need for this system so in order to step that voltage down I use a DC to DC step down converter this will put the 33 volts down to 13.8 volts and then from there we can use that to run our various 12 volt appliances you can buy adjustable step down converters like this one here I do find these ones to be more stable these are a fixed output put by these you can adjust the output on uh, this adjustable converter I do find that these are more stable I think simply because the solar panels will fluctuate in voltage as the Sun hits them you know cloud cover stuff like that so if you are to use uh, just a solar panel system. I would recommend one of these more so Can pick these up very cheap from Amazon and eBay stuff like that and As you can see now we are 13.9 volts you can get 12 volt ones which put out 12 volts but the 13.8 volt ones a little bit more expensive, but you will get a little bit more efficiency out of the setup so this watt meter is just for demonstration purposes um, you, this isn't required in the system but yeah that's just to show you the voltage and if I just had a cigarette lighter socket like this here from there I could plug that in and use it for a whole heap of things now I can run 12 volt kettles, rice cookers, fans, any really any 12 volt appliance just with this simple system here which is pretty cool this is just direct from the solar panel to your cigarette lighter port and I can plug little cigarette lighter chargers in charge phones, charge power banks, torches um, all sorts of stuff and obviously with this cigarette lighter port by itself I can run kettles and small 12 volt rice cookers, fans um, charge a whole lot of stuff just with this small setup here for $50, $60 I can do a whole lot of work with this another idea is what I've got here you can buy yourself a 12 volt accessory panel and I've just mounted this onto a board like that joined up the wires all together and soldered it with an XT60 connection these are all fused it's always good to have your stuff fused so from there I can plug 
using the watt meter as well just for reference I can plug that in and I can do a whole lot of stuff now just with this simple setup without batteries charge controllers inverters all right let's get this phone on the charge shall we so that phone's charging I want to plug this torch in get that charged up as well I don't know if you can see that but the little red lights on there so it's charging we are using 16 watts at the moment to charge the phone and the torch let's try out this 12 volt kettle see how much power we can get out of this thing it's 135.5 watts now so if we are charging the phone we're charging this torch we've got this kettle boiling um, let's see what else we can do Right, we've got this 12 volt Azoto charger. So we'll get that charging as well. Let's see how much this can push out. That's on. You can see the red light's on. So that's charging. A little bit of a mess on the table, but we are using 150, 151 watts almost so that's awesome this is just directly from that solar panel those two solar panels into this DC converter to this DC control panel obviously you'll pay a bit extra for this so if you were to use the accessory panel with the converter and that you're probably looking around hundred dollars Aussie dollars for this setup and we're doing lots of work with this so providing that the Sun is shining we can do lots and lots of stuff with this simple cheap setup if you find finding value out of this video give us a thumbs up consider subscribing to the channel as well it really helps me out I appreciate it guys and it really gives me the confidence to keep pushing these videos out I appreciate all your um, input and all the comments below. I read every comment. I try to reply to all the comments as well. So I appreciate it, guys. All right, still doing good. These things do get a little bit warm when they're running, so keep that in mind. But that's all running fine. All right, now that you've liked and subscribed to the channel, I will run through the pros and there is obviously some cons with this setup so with the pros obviously it's very very cheap to get into solar very simple so anyone that's on a budget and a little bit sort of not so tech savvy you can make one of these up reasonably easily and reasonably cheaply get some secondhand solar panels get one of these off eBay you don't have to use the XT60 connections if you don't want to. You can simply just you know, use other connectors if you'd like. Um, the pro, another pro is it is upgradable. So if eventually you want to upgrade, you've already got the panels. So you just need to add the, the other components like the batteries and inverters, stuff like that. And yeah, it was completely upgradable. No problems at all but the cons are with this setup it only works while the sun is shining obviously being solar so night time you can't use this so you, you get your uses out of in the the day sun you can obviously buy a power pack or something like that where you can store that energy for later use um, it is also limited in what you can do obviously this system is pretty small you can't you know run large appliances off this this is really just good for your smaller 12 volt appliances kettles charging batteries 
phone, stuff like that. Um, although it is very usable, it isn't made for anything large. Um, so this is a, my experience with this system. I have been using a system like this for a long time. So to get the most out of your system, obviously you'll need a position for your solar panels that is in full sun. Um, direct sunlight is ideal early morning as well so if you you get up and get this system on earlier in the morning you, you're going to have more time to do more stuff basically so early morning you can get your kettles board your other 12 volt stuff get all your batteries topped up you just got more time to get the most out of this system if you start earlier on in the morning also another thing I have found is if you match your DC converters closer to the, the voltage of your solar panels, this, this input, although it says 24 volt, it does go up to 35 volts in the specs. So my solar panels max out around say 34 volts. So the closer you can match your panels to the voltage of your converters the more efficient this thing is I find another thing to get the most out of this system is to over panel your system a little bit so for example if you want to just draw a hundred watts total out of this system you probably want a hundred and twenty watt or hundred fifty watt solar panel obviously you got to work within your conditions as well if it is a, a cloudier rainier day you know where you're getting patchy sun then you still can use this system but you you may be only limited to charging smaller stuff like your phones and your torches and stuff like that so in yeah in cloudier conditions just work with your conditions you you won't won't be able to sort of pull 150 odd watts like we are now um yeah like i said you might just be limited to charging the smaller stuff on cloudier days well i hope you found this video interesting i hope you've got some good ideas on setting up a small solar system on a budget